What's going on with this possible real-life orphan story? Indiana parents Christine and Michael Barnett decided to do a good deed, so they adopted a little girl from Ukraine, Natalia Grace. At the time, Natalia was only eight years old, or so they believed. Everything was great until strange things started to happen. Barnett's even left the girl at one moment because they were scared for their lives and the lives of their children. Could this girl be an adult sociopath pretending to be a child? Or are the Barnett's trying to save themselves from neglecting child charges? Let's unfold this possible real-life orphan movie story. The Barnett's agreed to adopt Natalia in 2010. At the time, Natalia was in adoption center in Florida. The little girl was from Ukraine but she had been in the States for two years. The Barnetts learned that the previous family abandoned her, and this was an emergency adoption. They were also informed that the girl has a rare medical condition. Natalia Grace had a specific form of dwarfism, called spondyloepiphyseal, which affects her spine, and much more. This form of dwarfism affected not only the bones in her spine, but also difficulty breathing and weak joint mobility. At the time, Natalia had no idea how famous her new family is. The Barnetts have three other children, all boys. One of their children, Jacob, is the now famous physics genius. He is also diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. It's fair to say the Barnetts already had the experience of raising a child with special needs. Although Jacob had all the time and support from his parents, Natalia had a different story. In the post-Soviet Union, the number of abandoned children grew each year. Therefore, several orphanages started appearing across many newfound countries, including Ukraine. The majority of children had some form of physical or mental disabilities. These children were so well hidden during the Soviet Union that people believed that there were no citizens with any disability. Natalia was one of the few lucky ones to reach U.S. soil with the help of an agency. Since she didn't have much luck with the first family, Everyone hoped that the Barnetts will be a perfect match. At the time, Christine Barnett was best known as an author and motivational speaker, with one expertise, raising children with special needs. But she wasn't prepared for what was coming. Natalia was an emergency adoption, meaning that everything was done in just 24 hours. In that short period, the Barnetts couldn't learn everything about her. That first day, Barnetts learned that Natalia couldn't walk while they were in the parking lot. There was nothing in the paperwork about that. Natalia was nervous the first day, so the family knew they will have to work harder to make her feel at home. So they showered her with attention and support. They decided to spend the day at the beach. Natalia wanted to be carried into the ocean. Michael and Catherine were physically exhausted, so they asked her to wait, but she couldn't wait. Suddenly, Natalia just got up and rushed into the water. They had no idea what was happening. She couldn't walk just one hour earlier by herself. This was the first shock. They didn't know how to react, so they decided to wait and know her better. The Barnetts grew more alarming that same night. The Barnetts said yes to adopting a little girl, so they were shocked by the little things that they were discovering each day about Natalia. Christine said that when she first bathed her, she discovered that Natalia had full pubic hair. According to her, Natalia also had periods and adult teeth. Natalia had no foreign accent and she couldn't talk or understand Ukrainian. The Barnetts asked a Ukrainian friend to talk to her, but she couldn't understand him. She couldn't describe anything about Ukraine as well. Furthermore, she had a highly developed vocabulary for a six-year-old. Moreover, she hated dolls and preferred to spend time with teenagers. Barnett started to believe that her adopted daughter is actually a teenager. Therefore, she decided to seek help from a family physician and perform the bone density test. As it turned out, Natalia was older. She was 14 years old. That's when things became scary. Christine changed Natalia's princess outfits to clothes more appropriate for her real age. With this, the real problems occurred. Soon after, Natalia attacked a baby boy when he was left alone, according to Christine. Furthermore, she started saying that she wants to kill them. Christine decided that she needs to protect her family and took Natalia for psychiatric evaluation. The results confirmed what she already knew. That was in 2011. A clinical therapist claimed that Natalia is an adult impersonating a child. The doctor claimed that she was 18. 
In June of 2012, the Barnetts applied to Marion County Superior Court in Indianapolis, Indiana to correct Natalia's age. That was the only way for her to get proper medical care. Judge Gerald S. Zor accepted the allegations and officially changed Natalia's birth date to September 4, 1989, making her 22 years old. That same year, the police started investigating the case. Meanwhile, the eldest son, Jacob, got massive media attention, posing as a physics wonderkin. He was even featured on 60 Minutes and gave a TED Talk. Jacob was accepted to the Parameter Institute for Theoretical Physics in Waterloo, Ontario. The family decided to move there, leaving Natalia alone. Michael told Dr. Oz that they found her a place. She was living near their town and they paid for three months' rent. They checked on her regularly. After all, she was an adult and she could take care of herself. In the meantime, Michael filed for divorce and the once happy couple was divorced in 2014. In the meantime, Natalia found a new family, a couple willing to take care of her. At that time, the Barnetts had no idea that they would become a global sensation. The new couple wanted to become Natalia's guardians. Thinking she was still a child, they tried to overturn the 2012 results. That was in 2016. Michael Barnett showed up at the guardianship hearing with Natalia's healthcare documentation, and the judge ruled that Natalia was an adult. But although the case was dismissed, there was one sentence that made the police interfere and evaluate the case thoroughly. It seems that Michael admitted to police that he believes Natalia was a minor in July of 2013. Later on, he defended by saying that that was taken out of context. Soon after his statement, arrest warrants followed and the pair was charged with the counts of felony neglect of a dependent. In September of 2019, both Christine and Michael turned themselves in and bonded out of jail. They had to bail around $5,000 each. Both are pleading not guilty. Their trial is set for January 2020. At the moment, Natalia is living with her other family. So far, Michael appeared with his attorney on Dr. Oz to clear his name in October. He told his story and answered some difficult questions. For the truth, we have to wait until January 2020.